everybody. So what we typically see, as Will said, we are a domain agnostic platform uh, or data hub. And so we typically see these six uh, key themes around master data management, regardless of what domain it is. First, you have to get the data in from certain sources, from spreadsheets, from people, et cetera. You need to consider deduplification, uh, which requires standardization and validation. You need to be able to transform data, uh, take field values from one system concatenated into another field in the data hub uh, in the MDM. And, and then finally go through enrichment and enhancement uh, processes. Uh, as far as the enrichment process, it's all about guiding people in the into the right direction uh, of where they need to go to get work done. Um, the enhancement piece is more about what Will mentioned with our uh, off-the-shelf data sets, uh, curated data sets, being able to tap into uh, third-party services and data sets um, internally within precisely for address verification and validation, as well as further geolocation enrichment. Um, and then finally, having some, some uh, configured set of approval loops and, and feedback uh, availability for people to uh, go ahead and go in, take a look at the records, make sure that they're fully approved, make sure the data model looks good, and get that ready and signed off for syndication. So what you're going to see is we're speaking to kind of three different actors in this demonstration. Uh, we're speaking to the MDM administrator by showing granular control and uh, for data modeling and security. The data steward uh, could be, uh, you may call it the business user, the, the end user. Uh, it's all about management by exception. It's about taking those rules and the data model that's been configured by the MDM administrators and guiding them through the process to fully enrich and enhance a record and get it ready to go to market. The approver or business owner, um, or you could call it a stakeholder at times, um, is someone on a business side who needs to sign off. And so we'll show how to sign off in the workflow as well. Today's demonstration is going to focus on multi-domain MDM. So we're going to start by talking about customer data, and then I'm going to also reference product and supplier data and show how in one system, it's all tied together. And from one screen, you can see the relationship between a customer and its products, a product and its suppliers, suppliers and its products, et cetera. Um, and so we'll go ahead and dive in in just one more slide, but we'll mention that we have out of the box connectors Want to make sure that this is understood. Um, we have over 100 out of the box connectors through our ETL service, and that covers uh, SAP uh, specifically. We're, we work heavily in the SAP integration space for uh, both ECC and S4 HANA, uh, connecting to databases, cloud services, files, regardless of file type, uh, that can be shared via. Uh, FTP, SFTP, S3 buckets, et cetera, cloud services, um, CRM marketing and support data providers. That's that third party uh, data provider connectivity that we can do API to API and uh, help cleanse data, help validate data, and then uh, many other types. And where we don't have a connector uh, in the market available for you, uh, we offer within our ETL service in a connector workbench, which allows for you to tap in using the API and build out a connector of your own if necessary. But typically we have you covered with those 100 out of the box uh, integration points. So we're integrating with all these different systems and we're pulling files in from different locations. Uh, what are we doing with that? Well, first of all, we're pre-staging it and deduplicating that data so that we can go through a match and merge process where our end users or our data stewards can get rolled up under one master record, uh, the lineage of a customer in this example, 